Okay, so there are three things you need to know to get the most out of our care whilst you're in our office. And you can think about this like a three-legged stool. With three-legged stools are stable, but if you remove just one leg, it doesn't matter how stable those other two legs are, it's gonna topple over. And you can think about your results in our office in the same way. If you've got two really solid ingredients, but you're missing that third one, you're not gonna get the same results as if you've got all three. So the first one is keep the rhythm of your adjustments. So your doc's giving you a prescription essentially. He's, I need to see you this number of times a week over this time frame, and then we're gonna do a review, and then we're gonna do this, this, and this. Each adjustment that you receive will start to build on the last adjustment, and you're gonna start to get momentum. But the time is of the essence, because let's say you're on five adjustments a week. If you get five adjustments in one week, that is gonna give you a very different outcome to if you get five adjustments over 12 months. You're just not gonna get the same results. So initially, especially when we're starting to work with you, we're trying to break old patterns within your spine and within your body. We're trying to develop new patterns, and we're trying to get those adjustments to start to hold. So your frequency or your rhythm of adjustment is crucial. Now life will happen and there's gonna be days where you just can't make your appointment and that's fine. But do your best to make it up within a week so that we keep your momentum moving forward. And likewise, we're, we are super flexible. If for whatever reason you, you need to come in half an hour early or an hour late, if we're open, we will get you through. Just show up and we'll take care of it. But you can think about your adjustments a lot like going to the gym. If you go to the gym five times a week, after a certain amount of time, you're going to see a change. Now that could be muscle growth, you're going to see increased strength, increased fitness, you'll start to feel better, you'll function better, but you're going to see a change. If you go to the gym five times in a year, on the other hand, you're not going to see any change. All you're going to do is go to the gym and every single time you do it, you're going to get sore because your body never gets enough chance to actually adapt and strengthen. So your rhythm of adjustments is the same thing. We need to keep your schedule up so that we get you the results that we're after. Now the second thing is your homework. Now depending on your specific case, your doc could have included, and I'm guessing definitely for most people, exercises. So typically the way we do that is we'll give you activation exercises where we start to turn certain muscles on and then we'll make them a little bit more difficult, then a little bit more difficult, so you're constantly progressing. It could be neuromuscular re-education. You could have heel lifts. You might have spinal orthotics. There could be a number of things that we've recommended for your specific care program. The point of it is, whatever those recommendations are, stick to them. Coming back to the exercises, if you're supposed to do it five days a week, but you do it once a week, you're not gonna get the same result. You're not gonna get that same stability. If you're supposed to do NMR, your neuromuscular education, after every single adjustment, make sure you get it done after every single adjustment. You're orthotic, you've got to use that daily. All these things, whilst you've got to find the time, and I know it can be inconvenient sometimes, the more religiously you stick to the recommendations, you're gonna get far more out of the care that we offer in our office. Now the last thing, the last leg of the stool is to break bad habits. Now we've all got them. Some of these habits we can, we can get rid of. For example, if you smoke, now might be a good time to think about quitting. That's something you can control. On the other hand, some habits, for example, sitting too long, or if, if you've got to sit all day long as a part of your job, there's not much you're gonna be able to do about that in terms of you can't just stop doing it. But there are strategies we can give you to work around it so that it doesn't have the same impact on your body anymore. So the coming weeks, we're gonna be talking with you and we wanna identify what are your bad habits that one, we can eliminate, two, we can't eliminate. If we can't eliminate them, how do we strategize to get around them so that it don't cause you problems down the track? They're the three things. It's stick to your rhythm of adjustments, do your homework, and let's figure out, figure out together what are your bad habits and how do we get around them. I'll see you in the next video.